let's go ahead and get sobbed out. Hey guys, now you can follow me on Facebook. Just go to facebook.com slash ultramaximusreviews. Cybertron Weekly is your central hub for everything Transformers. Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another Transformers review, and today we're taking a look at another Titans Returns figure. It's Sawback, and this is one of the little itty bitty guys. Uh, I guess they're the Titan Masters series uh, Legends. I don't know, they're not Legends, they're small Legends. They're just little Headmaster units. And I found this guy in my local Walmart. Uh, they had this guy, and they also had, uh, was it Fangry? I almost got Fangry, but I got this guy instead because he just, I don't know, something about this figure that drew to me. I didn't recognize the name so much. I just really like the lion look. Uh, but uh, doing some research, he comes from the Headmasters, Japanese Headmasters series, which I've not watched in years. And uh, so that's kind of an interesting little pull from uh, the old school G1. Because so I was like, who is this guy? What's going on? I, I, I had no clue. So... Beyond me in Transformers as a kid, but I did go back and watch the Headmasters uh, later on in life. So definitely pretty cool to see uh, them pulling some really rare and out there characters into this line. So kind of neat to see. Let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. So here we have Sawback in package. There's the little Headmaster unit there. There's the lion thing. Looks like he's kind of smashed like roadkill. Very odd looking face there generic looking cg face almost looks like a 3p piece of artwork which is interesting this is sawback titans return transformers generations we got uh fort max up at the top pretty much everything that we see uh with previous uh figures so there he is there it is there it is that's just very generic artwork to me i don't know uh and here's the back of the packaging it basically says that the headmaster unit can work across the entire line which i really do like that play gimmick and he turns into a head and that's really pretty much it for the packaging let's go ahead and get sawback out of box and see what we think so here we have sawback out of package and i've got to say i really do like the lion mode I think this guy looks really, really cool. Um, I like to see a deluxe figure of this, actually. I love how the Titan Master kind of becomes part of the main on this figure. Uh, very, very cool. He's got the silver wings. Um, he's got his little tail. Very, very nice. Now, he does have two alternate modes, along with the Titan Master uh, becoming a head for a robot. Uh, the two alternate modes are a shield in some kind of weaponized throne chair thing which is eh, i don't particularly care for i really think this is the coolest looking uh mode that the robot has uh but uh yeah overall definitely digging this guy i kind of wish we had something to go with blaster on this guy i think it'd be a lot of fun now for comparison here we have titans returns loudmouth and crash bash and um yeah, I like it. I, I really like Crash Bash. I like how the Titans Master figure kind of goes into the beast mode. I think it does a lot better in uh, Sawback here, but I still like Loudmouth. He's kind of a fun little Autobot. So definitely very cool to see these guys side by side. Now, as far as transformation goes, uh, pretty simple. I'm going to put him in the shield mode. Um, the nice thing about the shield mode, you can keep the uh, little Headmaster unit. I'm going to pull him out real quick. Er, come on. Is he's definitely in there pretty good. Ah, come on, dude. Get out. Get out. Uh. So uh, here's the headmaster unit uh, really quick. He's got a little lion face, uh, which is kind of interesting, a little beast face. I think it's the first time we see this in the line. Um, lots of yellow and orange. He turns down. There it is. A very generic-looking face. Looks looks uh, third-party to me. Uh, very odd. Not a big fan of that, but eh is what it is but you can keep the little titan master unit if i can get this guy in here uh whoop. got him upside down come on buddy get in there go go uh. all right so you can keep this guy down just fold this up fold uh the head up like that 
you're going to fold these down. Um, nope, these go down like that. And then the silver bits fold down like this. And let's see here. Like that, yep, that's that that there it is. That's 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 the shield mode and it doesn't doesn't stand. Um yeah, so the robots, you're gonna put this up in the hand uh for the robot, and I'll kinda show that off here in a bit. Um yeah, I mean it is what it is. Kind of a junky mode. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a fan of this mode, but uh yeah, that's it right there. And here we have uh, Sawback with Blur, my stand-in for all my Titans Return figures, with uh, the Headmaster unit on Blur, and then he's got the Lion Shield, and I, uh, yeah, sure, it works, I guess. Very, very strange, very Japanese, very Beast Wars Neo to me. Um, not really my cup of tea, and for some reason, I really see this uh, getting repainted for Leo Prime. I don't know. What do you guys think? So the third mode is kind of some kind of weapon throne thing. The instructions say it's a weapon, but it really kind of looks more like some kind of, I don't know, throne to me. Um, what you're supposed to do is kind of flip this guy around. We can't even see this. It's out of focus. Focus. There we go. Um, this is going to... I think fold back. This is supposed to come. Well, let's see here. Come on. How is this supposed to go? I don't even know how this is supposed to go. Alright, so this goes forward like that. Uh, so this gun piece is there. The lion face is on the bottom. And then you're supposed to take the silver wings and put them underneath um these kind of fold up here and then these are supposed to go kind of flat back like this but it doesn't really stay um if i can get this to focus uh, it doesn't really stay very well so you want to use uh the silver bits to kind of uh prop it up a bit let's see if i can get this to kind of stand so you want to get it to kind of stand and make it as straight as possible I guess um, there we go so kind of like that and then uh, you're gonna take your headmaster units like this and there are ports um, in the uh, bottom there that he's gonna stand in like that and then you can have him kind of sit down like this and then there he is in his weapon thing and yeah, this is, I don't know what the hell this is. This is very strange. It's, it's, it's very weird. Um, I, sure, I guess. Put it on a base and he can use that and shoot things. So, yeah, it exists. So is the Titans Return Sawback figure something you want in your Transformers collection? Well, if you like the Titans Return stuff, uh, this is something you can pick up pretty easy. It's like five bucks. I was really, really drawn to it because it is a lion. I like the colors. I like the design of the head sculpt. I didn't know that the Titan Master would actually become the main, which I really, really do dig. I love the lion mode. I think that is really cool. The shield mode is okay. The weapon throne thing is kind of blah. And one of the funny things I just noticed as I was uh, reviewing this guy, um, if I can get it to zoom in here, Zoom. There is a silver Autobot logo. I don't know how well that's going to show up. Let me see if I can get it in the light a little bit better there. Uh, but there's a silver Autobot logo right there, like hidden in the back of the wing, which is really strange. I don't know why they didn't just uh, put that on the silver wing. Um, I think that would have been a lot cooler if I can get this zoom in there we go uh, but overall for five bucks it's not a bad figure i love the lion i really do have to say i'd like to see a deluxe version of this guy um he's an old headmaster character from the japanese cartoons uh which is interesting and uh you know kind of cool to see a little nod to that 
is this a must have? No, not really, but I don't know. There was just something about it that appealed to me and I think it was worth five bucks. So there he is, Sawback from Transformers Titans Return. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Don't forget to subscribe and share, like us on Facebook, and look for more videos in the future.